Hi guys, this is Ray Snow. So last time we created this option screen. So now we can switch this full screen settings. So full screen or windowed. And also we change this volume and see the control or stuff like that. And this time we create a game over screen. Yeah, I guess it's about time to create this since we are already fighting monsters. So game panel. First we create another game state. Public final int game over state. Six. And uh, open the player class. So game over. It happens when player has no life basically. So at the end of this update method, we check if player still has life or not. So if life is equal or less than zero, gp dot game state equal gp dot game over state. Not live, but live. Then go to this UI class. So we create another if statement. Game over. So if game state is game over state, then game over screen. Okay, let's create this method. Public void game over draw game over screen. And okay, first set color, color, and okay. So when the player dies, I want to make the screen a bit darker. So well, I'm gonna set black color, zero, 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 and but change the alpha, so not completely black, but like half black or something and uh, draw rectangle fill rect on the screen so gp.screen width gp.screen height so we're gonna draw screen size rectangle with this half transparent black color so it's gonna be like this yeah so the screen gets a bit darker and uh, we're gonna display some text uh, int x int y string text okay and uh, let's get font so I'm gonna choose bold and font size is like 110 derive and then so we're gonna draw the text on the screen so text game over or you died or anything is fine like we did for the title screen I'm gonna use black and white color so we can add kind of a shadow to the text so first we're gonna write the shadow part so I'm gonna choose black black and uh, get x from this get x for center the text text and Y is something like type size times four or something. And the draw string, draw string, text X, Y. So this is shadow and this is main or something. And now we choose white color dot white and draw the string again 
control string but we're going to change the position slightly to the left and to the top like minus four uh, let me check yeah like this so the text has a shadow like this then we're going to display two options so the one needs retry and the other one is like a back to the title screen I think I'm gonna change the font size set font to that font derive font like a 50 and the text is retry and x get the x again and y is like a plus tile size maybe 4 again and back to the title screen font size is the same so text is uh, I don't know quit maybe and just get the x again and uh, y is more than tile size because we are using a 50 pixel font so maybe plus 55 and uh, let's draw the string to do that draw a string text and so again draw again yeah like this Next, let's display the castle so we can choose one of them. So we're gonna use that command num again. So if command num equals zero, then we're gonna display the castle. So you do that draw string and uh, x minus 40, copy and paste and command num1 and okay let's go to the key handler here at another if statement so game over state game over state and create this method game over state We're gonna use W and S key event dot VK W then command num minus minus and if num is less than zero the sound effect to play a C okay copy and paste a S so if it says then it's cursor is going down so command num plus 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 and if it's greater than one then command num is zero oh yeah and I forgot to change this this is not option state but uh, game over state okay let's check okay so we can move the castle and now let's handle the enter input as well if code equal key event dot vk enter Okay, so if command num is zero, which means retry. So if you select the retry, 
then、uh, we're gonna change this game state to play state. So else if gp.ui.command num equal one, then so this means、uh, back to the title screen. So game state. All GP that title state, and so here's a little bit tricky part because depending on which option we choose, we need to reset different stuff. If we choose retry, we want to keep players' level items and stuff, but to restore his life and mana. And positions. They also reset monsters and NPCs' positions. And if we choose this quit, then basically we're gonna restart the game. So we basically reset everything. So we need to edit this player class a little bit. So if we retry, we want to restore players' position, life, and mana. Yeah, I think I'm gonna create another method and、uh, like I said, default positions and、uh, restore. Okay, copy this. And also direction, I think. So whenever we want to reset player's position, we can call this method. Also,、uh, public void restore life and mana. So life is max life and、uh, mana is max mana. And also, I think we reset this invincible setting as well. First. And we're gonna add this line to this set items. Inventory dot clear. So we need this in case we want to restart the game. So we're gonna delete all the players' extra items and、uh, restore the default items. Okay, then go to the game panel. Okay, I think I'm gonna. Create method retry and also restart. So if we retry the game, then we're gonna restore players' default positions and also restore life and mana. And I think. We should restore NPC and monsters. So, and object. So, if it's retry, we don't need to restore this object and the interactive tile. Yeah, like this. And if it's restart, basically we need to reset everything. So, we're gonna call this default positions and.、Uh, Default values too, so we're gonna completely re reset this player. Player that restore life and mana. Set items, and also yeah, this stuff too. So reset object, NPC, monsters, and the interactive tiles. Something like this, I think. Uh, in this key handler, if we choose retry, then、uh, we're gonna call retry. And if it's restart, we're gonna call this restart. And also, I wanna play a sound effect when you die. And I created this very simple game over sound. We're gonna add this game over sound too. Sound. K. 
game over. And okay, so where we should play it? Probably here. When we switch to this game over state. So play C. Yeah, like this. Okay, let's check. Let's get some experience. And uh, item 2, I think. Okay, level 2. And uh, pick up an axe. Okay, so player level is 2 and uh, he has an axe. Extra item. So let's die. Yeah, he died. And okay, which okay, let's choose retry. All right, so he retains his level and item. Okay, and uh, let's die again. Okay, this time let's choose quit and restart the game. Okay, so now everything is default. So level 1 and uh, default items. Yeah, that's it. So we created the game over screen. So we are no longer invincible. So we have to fight carefully. Otherwise we die. Yeah, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. And until next time.